Hi, it's Corrine, and today I'm here with a requested video. I am going to show how I make a pocket for inside of my mini albums using my Silhouette Cameo. Pretty much every album that I make, I when I show it on camera, I show either a scallop pocket or maybe a, a scallop bracket pocket or some sort of pocket and I always say I made it in my cameo. So I've had several requests asking how I do that. So I'd like to share that with you today. And first of all, I'm by no means an expert on the silhouette. However, I do use my silhouette cameo pretty much every day and I absolutely love it. So if there's anything that I can ever help you with that I know how to do, I'll be happy to show you how to do it. So let's get started with today's project. The latest album that I made was a Halloween album, and I did show a pocket in it where I said that I made it on my Cameo. Let me share a picture of that with you right now. So that's the pocket that I made on the Cameo. So I'm going to use that as an example today. Now the pockets in that page were seven by seven. So this is how I make mine. So the very first thing I'm going to do is select my draw a rectangle shape and I'm going to draw out a rectangle and I'm going to select it and go up to my scale window. And like I said, my album pages are seven by seven. So I know that I want the width to be seven inches and I'm going to unselect the lock aspect box and the height of my page or of my pocket, let's say is three inches. I'm going to hit apply. I Sometimes I want very large pockets and other times I want smaller pockets. So it really depends on what you want for your album. So I'm just going to use three inches as an example. So the next thing we want to do is go over to our library and select a shape. You can use any type of shapes that you have, like any of these labels here would work, the top of this label would work, whatever you want. You could even use the top of this. Um, but for my example, I used a frame and I used this frame border that I got from the Silhouette online store. If they still have it on the store, sometimes when I go back to try and find something, they won't have it. So if they do have it, I will link it in the description box. But this one's called frame border. So I'm going to select that and I don't need both pieces of this. So I'm going to highlight it, go down here to my ungroup, select shapes, and I'm going to get rid of one of them. You can do that by either right clicking and select delete, or what I usually do is just go down here to my delete button, which is this X at the bottom. The next thing we wanna do is cut this shape because we only want the top portion of this frame. So by doing that, I'm going to select my knife button and let me drag it back over. And you wanna hold your shift key if you want your knife to go straight across. So here's an example. I'm not holding my shift key and as you can see, it can move and maybe not be perfectly across. So I don't wanna do that. So I'm going to undo what I just did, reselect my knife. Now this time I'm holding my shift key down and I'm dragging it straight across and that'll give me a perfectly straight cut. So now we don't need this portion. So again, I'm going down to my delete button and getting rid of that. So again, my pocket is seven inches across. So we need this to be seven inches. So go back up to your scale window up at the top. You don't really need to worry about the height right now. You can adjust it as you see fit if you want it a little bit taller or shorter, whatever you're gonna like for your pocket. So I'm not gonna worry about the height right now. I am going to deselect the lock aspect window and I'm going to change the width to seven inches and select apply. That way it matches my pocket perfectly. So the next thing I wanna do is select both of the shapes, go up here to my align window and I'm going to select align center and that's going to align the pieces perfectly. So the next thing we wanna do is go to our weld button or you can right click right click and select weld as well. I'm just going to select it down here and now we have a pocket. If you wanted to add this directly to your mini album page, you could by adding some glue to the top, um, or excuse me, to the left, the right, and the bottom of this and glue it directly down to your page. By doing so, 
you're going to eliminate the room you have for a tag because this will have glue here, here, and here. Sometimes I do that and other times I want a fuller pocket to where I can add a larger tag. So if I'm going to do that, then I want to add tabs to it. So how I add my tabs is again, I go and select draw a rectangle. I'm just going to draw one out, select it, go back up to my scale window up at the top here, and I'm going to make it one inches. I'm going to deselect the lock aspect, and I'm going to select apply. I'm not too worried about the height right now. So now what I want to do is, let me zoom in here. I'm going to get us pretty close. So now I can drag the height to what I want. You don't want it too small because then this will not be adhered um, to your mini album page, which is fine if that's what you want. But I like it to go right to where the curve starts. So I'm going to drag this up to right about there. Okay, and now the next thing you want to do is put a line down the middle. Again, this is going to be a tab that we're adding onto our pocket. So I want to select draw a line. As I'm drawing my line, I'm holding my shift key down. That way it's giving me a perfectly straight line. Okay, so now the next thing we want to do is grab both of those, go back up here to our align window, and we want to select align middle. That will put my line perfectly in the middle of my tab. Okay, and now that they're still both selected, I'm going to go to group select shapes and I'm going to group them. So the next thing we want to do is duplicate this. So there's a duplicate um, selection right here. I'm going to duplicate it and just move this out of the way for right now. We're not going to be working on that for right now. So now the next thing I want to do is bring this over to my pocket and I like to zoom in even a little bit more to make sure I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so now we can perfectly see where it is. We want to align this line right up to the edge of our pocket. And I'm using my arrow keys to do so because I can get it perfectly where I want. Now you don't want to go too far over to the right like that is or too far, too far over to the left. You want to get it right there and you want to align it to the bottom as well. So I'm going to move it up. Okay, so let me zoom back out now that I'm happy with where it's aligned and I want to grab both of these shapes again. I'm grabbing my pocket and my tab and I'm going back down to the weld select. Okay, so now I've welded this together. We want to turn this, if we left this as it was, it would just cut straight through. So we don't want to do that. So we want to select this line here, go up to our line style window and change that to any of these score marks. So now that will score it instead of cutting it. So now once I'm happy with that, I want to select both of them again, go down to my group selected shapes, and now we have a tab that we can fold over after it's scored for us. We can fold it over and glue it onto our mini album page. Okay, so now we want to do the exact same thing on this side. I'm just quickly going to do this. Again, I'm lining it up, making sure I'm happy with it. Once I am, I'm going to grab it again, both shapes, and I'm going down here to weld selected. Once it's welded, I need to grab this line again, select the same, you want to use the same score marks, and score it. And it looks like this was deselected, so I'm going to do that again. And now, if you were to move this, it's going to move it away from your marks. So let me move back where I was. So that's why you want to go ahead and select all of them together and group them. And now you have a pocket with two score marks down either side that you can fold over and glue. Let me move this over and show you here where it's in red. So now you can see that's how it will score and now you have a perfect pocket for your page. And if you need to make it a little bit larger, you can do so 
or make it smaller. So I hope that this will help. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment. And again, if you have any questions on how to do something basic on your silhouette or just anything on your silhouette, if I can help you with it, I'll be happy to help you with it. Thanks so much for watching.